Good day, everyone. Thanks for joining us here in the charts. You tuned into the Market Beast Edition. Yes, it is your fellow compadre speaking. Today, we'll be exploring Riot, R I O T, ticker symbol Riot Blockchain Incorporated, which is associated with Bitcoin. I don't have any fundamentals on this, but I'm sure you guys have done your research if you are here viewing this on the Riot symbol. So, I'm going to go over a very interesting pattern that may not make a lot of sense to some. I'm going to do my best to explain this. And my, my main goal in accomplishing the price action on this is measuring the extreme point so just keep that in mind as we kind of go along here if you're new welcome in consider hit the subscribe button if any of this comes to fruition or if you find any valuable information in the content lawyer subscribers welcome back to the youtube algorithm promoting the channel due to your engagement appropriate thumbs and comments thank you for that so again have an open mind let's go ahead and crack open the charts to see what we have to see if any of this makes sense so let's go ahead and dive right into the charts here shall we All right, so today is March the 7th, 2021, and the previous close of Riot is going to be $40.30. It closed negative approximately 9% for the day. All right, so here we are. I, I wanted this chart to be as, as clear as it possibly can because I feel like it's going to be confusing, but let's, let's go ahead and go over here, guys. All right, that's it. Really simple. Ladies and gentlemen, what you are looking at on the screen is a broadening ascending wedge pattern. You see this is um, but it's it's interesting because there's not really much price action going on within this uh, range here, if you notice. Um, and I'm going to explain why there's not really much price action going on in this range and why I chose to measure this area above the price action. So uh, first and foremost, let's just kind of go back in time, I guess, and pull up the higher time frames to see where this stock has come from. Let's put it like the six month candles for visibility purposes. I'm pretty sure this has gone through some reverse stock splits. Uh, here's pretty much everything dated all the way back from, uh, let's see, January the 2nd, 2003 of a price starting at about 400 to $500. You can see it here. It's never been been trending up well i guess it did trend up all the way up until uh 2007 reaching as high as uh three thousand five hundred and thirty five dollars again i'm pretty sure there's some reverse stock splits but ever since it got that high yeah it's been walking down the stairs um, it's actually been through a really rough time um, ever since it's been below the 113 yeah 113 dollar level that kind of reveals my uh, overhead target but i just wanted to give everyone an overall view of this stock ever since coming out back in what we say like 2003 ish okay so hopefully you have that information and what i want to do is uh, we started with the one month candle so let's do that the one month candles here we go with the one month all right so the reason that i decided to measure this ascending a broadening wedge pattern area where there's not really much price action is because notice these wicks. I don't know if you guys can actually see that. Let me, I want to see if you guys get a really quick zoom in and hopefully we're all clear. The overhead target is $113, but don't, don't enter the market based on this. Let me go over this uh, guys. Please have a, a strategy execution ready to deploy in these markets before you put your heart on capital in here. Okay. Know where you're going to take a stop loss. If the market goes against you, know where you're going to take profits, know how much you're going to enter, never risk any more more than you're comfortable with losing okay hopefully i said that right all right so again the monthly candles here now the reason that let me just get a zoom in here see these wicks i don't know if you can actually see that you see this wick here dated all the way back in uh 2003 i'm sorry march the 3rd 2014 this monthly candle right here i uh, see how it just kind of it wicked from the support line all the way to the resistance resistance line it got rejected all the way back down and then it just kind of continued walking down the stairs you see that so that's the reason that i've decided to you see this area here you see this wick as well these are monthly candles back in december the first 2017 it only wicked from the support line and went all the way to the resistance line and it got rejected and you can see as a result it just kind of continue to pretty much collapse and go down right so i'm just pointing out the significance of this broadening ascending wedge pattern same thing here notice how the only difference of the only difference with now is there's been a monthly candle to close above the support line let's go ahead and go back so you can see it here with the exception of this clustered area price action here hopefully this is making sense so far you see how this uh, June the 1st, 2012 candle just kind of broke below it and then it actually broke up. And then this was like the only monthly candles body to close within this broadening ascending wedge pattern, which is all the way back in October the 1st, 2012. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me just circle it. And remember, when I say a candles body, that means the entire body closes 
within this uh, pattern here. Okay, so that's the only candle that ever has done that. And some say, wait a minute, there's a there's a candle that, that closed in over here. We'll just go back over. Okay, so the reason that this is not an official close yet is because we're still this is a developing candle, this monthly candle. So we can't use this as an example. But this it, this has the potential to be the second monthly candle to close a full candle's body within this level. The the main objective of what I'm looking to see happen is to have a monthly candle use this line as support this uh let me see if i can back out here i need i need to see a monthly candle use this lower line this lower line down here as support once i can see a monthly candle close above this ascending line here that should act as support in that and at that point i would feel more comfortable to say that yes the price action is maturing in preparation to propel the price to the upside and break above this resistance level that there has never been a monthly candle to close above this overhead resistance hopefully you guys can see let me just back out this overhead resistance line yeah there's never been a monthly candle to close above the top of this line yet all the way dated back to let's see uh may the 1st 2012 okay so this is a very important line if we can get a monthly candle i say we i'm not invested in this stock by the way guys just to be totally transparent with you all but if this stock can get above and stay above this level here, it's going to vary the ascending line. So let's just assume that it actually happens this month. I'm not sure if this is going to happen, guys. It's pure speculation. But it would be at $61.51. But if it acts as resistance as it has in the past, I can't make this up. It's the, We can measure three monthly candles to get rejected at the top of this line right right here like i said back in uh, march 2014 you got another wick here december 2017 and this one here so this video is getting pretty long the main thing that i will be uh trying to understand about this that we've already gone over i don't think we went over the price was this lower support line right here okay because this will be it's, it'll it'd be evidence in the charts that there should be enough momentum in this play to propel the price to the upside and get above the resistance line that it's been fighting with ever since 2012 right over here so the line that it needs to stay above let's just close this out here hopefully this was you know useful information hopefully this would like made sense to you all uh, the reason why I'm actually measuring the ascending broadening wedge area like this range up here to understand like the extreme moves in the market as opposed to measuring the uh, the price action just below it. OK, because I'm pretty sure everyone is interested in, you know, when is it going to break out? Like when are we going to get some extreme moves to the upside? So that's the reason why I chose this to understand whether or not we're going to get some extreme moves. So can I get to the support level here? All right. So the lower support level is going to be if it happens this month, we're looking at. $36.71. So if you see this monthly candle getting below $36.71, Ooh, yeah, it's likely it's trying to um, get like pushed out of this range and just pretty much continuing what has been going on ever since 2012. Since this clustered area of price action down here, it wants to get excuse me, reject it out of this ascending broadening wedge pattern. It's a very powerful, very extreme range for a riot. And I'm not sure if the markets are mature enough to blast off to the upside but obviously we have to wait till the price action determines that this this monthly this red monthly candle right here although it looks red at the moment it still has 23 days to develop so I've, I've seen this happen before where it starts to look red right and it's probably just getting support at the lower level here here in preparation to the move the price to the upside again the overhead resistance level if it happens this month is about $61.46 please write the levels down guys or at least like set an alert and on like tradingview.com or whatever you use right and then the uh, lower support level again when we'll just close it out here is going to be at about 36 dollars and 29 cents i would like to see it stay within this range at least leading over until the end of this month so this way we'll have a better understanding of uh, the trajectory um, and actually to close this candle in a green candle it needs to get above let's see the open was uh, 4904 so if it closes above 4904 they would turn this red candle green like towards the end of this month okay it's in april of next month it has to close above uh, what did i say 4904 to turn this candle this monthly candle green 
that's pretty much all I have for you wonderful folks. Again, hopefully this was useful. You have the range that is currently within. I can't make this up. I hopefully I did a really good job explaining why this range is important between 36 up to 61. Uh, this is the extreme point in this market. So let's see how this plays out. Uh, let me also one last thing. I didn't want a, a, like a million lines on the chart, but let me just go ahead and put one more line just so that we're all clear um, and we can actually erase this uh, broadening ascending wedge pattern. Um, it's in a very large range. So I know people they are going to ask for updates if the price continues to go down. This is what my speculative observation could understand. Um, it's in a large range between $28.81. I know bulls. I'm not saying it's going to get that low, but please understand that if there's volatility to the downside, you have to understand that that will be the level that it needs to stay above $28.81. If it can find a nice soft landing on that level, remember monthly closes. If it dips below, I'm not saying it's actually going to happen, but just again, understand what is going on if the sellers step in this market is pretty clear it is day that the sellers have had full control of this market ever since 2003 was well, I guess you can say ever since uh, the most recent high back in December 2007 at about three thousand and four. Four hundred or three hundred, three thousand five hundred dollars. I mean, of course, considering the uh, reverse stock splits, the sellers have had full control of this market. Okay, so please just be mindful of that. That you know, if the trend wants to continue, it will continue to the downside. The trend is your friend until the end. But one last thing, and I said the last thing like 10 times already. Um, if we take this green line into consideration back in May the 1st, 2012, below the $28 level, if we measure from here uh, to that, that date that I just explained over to this date, we can actually, uh, February the 1st, 2021, we can actually do something really quickly. I think it's pretty unique. I just kind of found it as we were uh, talking here. This could be like a, a bottoming formation pattern, kind of like a cupature uh, bottoming consolidation range before the actual breakout. So I'll do a really quick measurement on how long it's been consolidating down below this line. Again, this is under the assumption that it will not break back below $28.81. So we'll start from here. Again, May the 1st, 2012, and measure it on over to present day, February the 1st. Thank you for your time, guys. We'll cut it out here. February the 1st, 2021. And let's see, we'll measure it here. And that would be a consolidation range of about 3,198 days. That is a beautiful amount of consolidation before the breakout. Let's just see how this price action plays out. Um, and again, if it would get, get to back test, I would actually be interested in entering this market at about 2881, depending on how the candlesticks are shaping out. And that would be a pretty clear shot for the price to at least try to go up to $113. Please take profits along the way. If you guys are actually, I can't give you financial advice, but what I would do is I would definitely take profits along the way. If it decides to continue the trajectory to the upside, um, even without a back test of the previous level of resistance, if it continues up, you know, it's okay to take profit. I would be open to taking profits. Remember, this is me. This isn't financial advice. I'm just telling you what I would do uh, in this beautiful story behind the price action. So let's just do a really quick measurement from the current level and then we'll close this video out. It seems pretty long. Uh, $40 and 47 cents uh, up to the potential overhead target. And it's going to be approximately 182% to the upside. So, again, assess your risk tolerance. We're going to cut it out here. Thank you for your time. Hopefully, this uh, was useful. If we earn your subscription from here, if you're new, uh, we'd love for you to join us. We also cover the alternative markets, Bitcoin, altcoins. This is associated with Bitcoin. So, if you see the price of Bitcoin going up, then essentially this will follow according to what I can see in the chart. So that's it, guys. So uh, we'll cut it out here. Thank you for your time. Leave an appropriate thumb just below the video there if you enjoyed the content. Uh, leave a comment to support the channel. That's all we ask. And a, a comment and an appropriate thumb there. So uh, take care of yourselves. Protect your portfolios. Execute your strategies, guys. We're going to talk very soon. And bye for now.